my Goliathus larvae have grown, so I have to, I think I have to put them in a bigger box where they can pupate later. So that's the box where I received the Goliathus orientalis, 17th of February. Now they gained a lot of weight. It should they should be around 40 or 45 grams. It means it's better to put them in a bigger box, like around five liters, so they can pupate there. So I have to check first what they do here. Look, they are already very big, and they are swollen up a little bit. It means that the larvae is starting to ingest a lot of material with which it's building it. Uh, its pupil cell we have a look at how it's around 40 41 42 grams uh, could be a female we'll like to have a look what is inside whether it's already started to build a cell no not yet so that's what I prepared it's a 5.8 liter proplos box it can be um, a little humid that's not a problem it should be humid so that the larvae is not drying out and then of course I put it the larvae in here so that she can dive down and prepare for the pupation looks great the larvae no problem it's big swollen it's white completely so I have to write down here orientalis um, number five it's the 18th of May and it's 41 gram so then I put some cat food on top so that the larvae can eat if she wants and you can uh, control whether she is still active eating by watching from the top so that's nice and nice uh, <laughs> animal oh yeah I have to put the etiquette so that I know what is inside probably a female next one is this one here uh, a little the same practically the same weight but it seems to eat more stuff now let's have a look how big this larvae is now here she is also quite a big one around 45 grams I guess 44 grams yeah very nice also a uh, big swollen and we have prepared this box for her so it goes in there in she goes and she has to dive down and I have the time to write it's number two orientalis this one might eat some more 44 grams some more of these cat food pellets because the last time I noticed I put in 12 and I didn't see any anyone uh, around here so if you look through the substrate you don't see any leftovers so that's good to put some more and now we have a look at the Coriatus Coriatus larvae just one and and then we move over to the next Coriatus Coriatus this one yeah um, it could be that it stopped eating no it's not yet stopped eating I put last time I put four cat food pellets on top so it, it took down all of them let's see where she is or did she already start making a pupil cell down here let's have a look now if she's doing that and we can't remove her now and we don't see her now from the outside it's best to leave her in here and not dig it out because that would be dangerous uh, if we destroy uh, the pupil cell of the animal that will probably kill the animal itself but I have to put some more humidity on top so that the larvae still is not drying out 
and it means that this one has already started pupating 17th, 5th, pupa and I don't I don't uh, do anything uh, with that larvae anymore just leave it there and five months later we will have a look whether it's a female or a male or whether it gets through this difficult process of pupation uh, with Goliathus, Goliathus. Have a nice day.